All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, Yahweh been Heavenly Father's true name, and his only begotten son, should they be in Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing teaching truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and all you sincere believers out there. Okay? And as you see from the screenshot here, uh, from a comment that I received on, a, on one of my recent videos, primarily concerning the kingdom of heaven, that is strictly for the Israelites. Okay? But as you as you as you see what it what uh or what it you know as it reads, the Hebrews created their God that fit to them. He leads them out of Egypt. He promised them a land which was already owned by another people, and he allowed the Hebrews to eliminate all of those other people that can light or probably he meant to say live on their you know live there on their own. Okay, so essentially, <laughs> you know this 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 comment here. Is it, um, I thought upon, you know, this is that, that too good to be true spirit, okay? Well, this person agrees, uh, we obviously know that according to this comment and this response, this person does not agree with the truth, the spirit does not bear witness, all right? But whether this person is an Israelite or a heathen, this, the, the case to be true is the energy in the, that it's coming with is that too good to be true spirit. That, that this, 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 you know, something just can't be right about this, all right? Something can't be right. The Hebrews, you know, in quotations, have created their God, you know, not knowing the entire Bible is about the Israelites. All right. And the Israelites encompasses uh, you Negroes, Latinos and you Native Americans who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. It may as we as we read the prophecies, as we read the, you know, the benefits of being an Israelite, it may seem as we created this man. But the Lord did the Lord, Yahweh. All right. And he uses on his only begotten, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. To, to show us the way of serving Yahweh correctly in the right manner, all right? And yes, he did lead us out of Egypt, allow miracles to take place for us to escape our enemies, all right? And yes, the heathen are our enemies, okay? And yes, we were given that land, we were promised that land, the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey, all right? Because the Lord can do what he wants. That's what the people feel to rather. The Lord can do what he wants, all right? As, as Isaiah chapter 55 states, all right? Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me grab that. All right. Let me pull up another tab. Isaiah chapter 55, man. Okay. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. It reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, save the Lord. All right. So you can you can say, Oh, if it, it, it's that just seems like you y'all created everything to y'all's liking. When we and essentially in the in the in the truth of all of all of this, we actually didn't. You know, the the nation of Israel, we were chosen. That's why it's a blessing to to have this inheritance. All right, it's a blessing by the Lord. Okay, so Isaiah chapter fifty five verse eight. One more time, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, neither are your ways my ways. Said the Lord. So yeah, the, the Lord is on a way higher vibration than our than our little tiny minds on this earth, man. All right, we can't even fathom the earthly things, in it, but try to understand the heavenly things, as the scriptures say, you know. But after reading that comment, I wanted to also grab 2 Peter chapter 6. You know what, let me grab 2 Peter chapter 1 first, all right. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. It reads, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, all right. And what's going to make it even more plain to understand, understand this scripture, we'll be reading it in different uh, translations. So let me get the, um, let's see. Oh, okay, I'll read it in NIV. This is in the NIV version of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. See, that's a cut to that ideology and that thinking that recreated the guy that we like. You know, we created, we we created, like, oh, we're going we gonna to set it up this way, we're going to have it that way, we did, we like, like we're on a game or something. no. It's the other way around, man. The creator created the, the creator is a, is above his creation. Okay? 
the prophets didn't write their own interpretation of things. It's it's all through the inspiration of the Most High. All right. Of course, of course, obviously is what the, you know. If you believe that, that if you don't believe that, that's on you. All right. But as it says, above all, you must understand though that no prophecy of the Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. See, it came through the inspiration of the Lord. It came through visions. All right. It came through inspiration. It came through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the the Rachakwadash. All right, the Holy Spirit is real. Okay, so let me get uh one to grab Second Ezra chapter six. Okay, all right, because this is you know the the the, the comment also seems is like it's just hating. It's, it's coming through the hating spirit as well. You know, it just don't just don't like the way you know these things these these things sound. All right, but these things are true. Okay. So this is 2nd Edward chapter 6, verse 54. And it reads, And after these Adam also, whose whom the thou, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Okay? So yeah, we you know you we can use this as a when you concern when you we speak about when people come about, oh, you know, we're all human, we all, you know, we all come from, you know, Adam. Hey, okay, that may very well be true, okay. But think you also gotta understand what you made a the Lord made a distinction. All right, he made a differentiation. All right. It says in the people also whom thou hast chosen. The Lord has a chosen people. All right. That's a very that's a simple concept to the elect. All right, but it's not so simple to the masses. Like, damn, the Lord has a chosen people? Yeah. Okay, verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So when you when you when after you know seeing the comment the Hebrews created their own God the Lord created this world for the Israelites sake all right for those that 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 for those that you know make up the twelve tribes of Israel you Negroes Latinos and you Native Americans this world was made for our sakes verse fifty six as for the other people as for the other people who make what what people what would they be categorized as heathens all right. Outside the nation of Israel, every nation that is. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, yeah, they're they're human. They come from they they stem from Adam as well. All right. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. See, <laughs> see, look 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 at the reputation of the heathen. Verse fifty seven. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen. That get that gives you more clear, you know, clarity of what this previous verse was going into. The heathen being spittle. It says, Oh now, O Lord, behold this these heathen, which had ever been reputed as nothing. So their reputation is nothing. The heathen were simply put on this earth to serve the Israelites and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. It says, had begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Why? Because the Israelites were disobedient, including us, the reincarnation, our forefathers as well. All right, through our disobedience, we had to suffer under the curses that the Lord put upon us. All right, because of our wickedness and just for us not taking heed to the laws, statutes, commandments that are written in the Holy Bible. All right, verse 58. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. Yeah, the Lord allowed us to this very day to be given into their hands. All right, verse 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, and this is part of the reason why our people and also the heathens, they don't they they just they just look at the things that we speak about as as it's too good to, too good to happen. It's far fetched, it's beyond our our greatest wishes, you know. We speak upon you know, we speak upon having rulership. First of all, having rulership, living forever. First of all, reigning with reigning with the Savior, the Messiah. All right, him being a dark complexion man. Okay, us at, receiving the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay, infinite, infinite riches, infinite wealth, infinite resources, infinite rulership and dominion. Okay, <laughs> that we can, that our minds can't even fathom. All right, these these things sound too good to be true. Like what the hell? All right, you sound like damn. It just make you smile when you actually have faith to believe it. Okay, verse fifty nine. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Yeah, because we should, we still the world is still made for our sakes. All right, because what's going to happen? Destruction is going to happen. Yahweh is going to return, and the in the world 
all right, in the earth as you know, as it is in heaven, okay, is going to be for the Israelites under Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and King David. That's what's about to happen very, very soon. World War III is going to come to pass. All out trouble and tribulation, including Jacob's trouble, you know, which is Jacob's trouble, Salaki. All right. Yahushua is going to return. Deliverance is going to take place. Destruction is going to take place. All right. And the Israelites will rule, okay, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, that remnant, all right, which will not include everybody, but a select few, all right, which is going to still be a large number, but fewer than the amount that's about to be destroyed of our own people, okay? This is what's about to happen. It says, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? And this is a sincere question. People may wake up to the truth and like, damn, we the chosen, but like, you know, if they, if they don't if they don't grasp the whole, you know, matter at hand or the entirety of the scriptures or the entirety of the prophecies, hey, these things, the prophecies must be fulfilled in order for us to receive, you know, that 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 great fame and dominion and rulership on the planet Earth once again. Okay. So let me also grab Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, because it, it just comes down, everything boils down to the Lord's have, having a chosen people. It's just that simple. The Lord has a chosen people, and that has happens to be the Hebrew Israelites, which are you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. It's no coincidence that we are the great, the, the smartest, all right, well, especially when we we reach our potential, all right, the, the most talent, you know, they had, you know, possess the most talent. All right, where whether that's in the music, whether that's in the arts, whether that's whether that's in the all right, um, in, in the field, okay, whether that's in sports, all right, we're the man, we're the best of the best, we're the cream of the crop, all right. Verse six, Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six, for thou art in holy people, yeah, we're a separate people, just as that same distinction that was made in second Edward chapter six, all right, of, of what it says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, we're simply chosen of the Lord. It's all throughout the Bible, all right? That's why it's so important uh, for our people to realize that you're an Israelite, all right? The word Israel is in the Bible over 2,500 times, all right? The Lord the Lord, <laughs> the Lord, Lord reiterates the, the point of being the God of Israel all throughout the Bible, both in the Old and the New Testament. There's no coincidence. The Lord simply has a chosen people, and the masses of the people have to get that through their head, all right? And then the prophets and the anointed of the, of the Lord are here to let you know that. Okay? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou, art, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. See? Unto himself, man. We are joined unto the Lord. Okay? The, the, the glory that we receive is go straight to our power. Go straight to, go straight to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's what it comes down to, all right? The Hebrews, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't write this, man, okay? The Lord put upon this, the, the holy men of the, of the, the holy men of Israel, the holy prophets, to, to write it, to write these, to write these things. But it didn't come, like the scriptures mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 1. It didn't come from their own wants, their own desires, their own thinkings, their own wishes. No, it came from the Lord, all right? And that's what's about to be shown. Everyone's going, everyone on the planet Earth is about to realize, like, damn, there is a true power. The name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He is for the Israelites. He is for these Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And it's obvious. All right? It's going to manifest itself. It's going to make itself very, very obvious and clear in the last days we're living in right now. It's going to be shown through, it can be shown through miracles, healings. It's definitely going to be shown through the destruction and deliverance. All right? Just watch these things play out. Okay? And these people, man, that, that too good to be true spirit is going to get debunked. It's going to be confounded. It's going to be brought low. It's going to have these people confused as hell out here, man. Okay? So, just wanted to address and respond to that to that comment. All right? Thought it would be, you know, edifying and also encouraging to the to the masses. All right? All right? And that reminds me of the scripture, 2 Andrew chapter 15, verse 3. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. You know, them that don't believe, that don't, that, that you know, that don't have faith, don't leave, let that word, you know, move your spirit, okay? Make you, frustrate you with anything, man. All right? It's just, it, people just think it's just these things that we speak upon are too good to be true. Even the, the bad things that are going to take place, they think that's, they just too, that, these things just, that just beyond, just beyond your imagination, just far-fetched. No, these things are going to happen. Watch it happen, all right? So with that, I want to end up by giving all the glory 
infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. All right, I want to um, repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.